stomach look like? I had the ostomy bag, a G-tube, a J-tube, and then three more drainage bags. And, you know, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition kept calling. They wanted, <laughs> they wanted me to be on their front cover. I kept saying, I can't, I'm in the hospital, just wait. So, uh, my ninth and final surgery, and I'm so happy to report, I have not been into an operating room since. Yay. <laughs> They ended up having to do a surgical closure of the tracheotomy wound. That the work you do is so vitally important. It is important to the patients. It is important to their families. Thank you. As well, she is an author, a blogger, and she shares her patient experience through public speaking engagements. Please welcome a remarkable person I'm very proud to introduce, Lisa Goodman Health. I learned that my situation was really far more serious than tight skin, and I was very convinced that I was going to die. And I was very convinced that I was never going to become an elementary school teacher, get married, have kids. I remained stable for 13 years, and I was able to become an elementary school teacher. I was able to marry my awesome husband. And I spent the first 218 days of my daughter's life in the hospital. Many nights my family was told I wasn't going to make it through the night. And it was absolutely devastating to lie there and think that I may never get to see my kids again, much less get home to raise them. So I'm very happy to report to you that 10 years later, after a lot of physical therapy and respiratory therapy and speech therapy and occupational therapy, my scleroderma is once again stable. And so I can stand up here tonight and give you my story and talk to you about all the pain I'm in and how hard it is for me to live with scleroderma. But the bottom line is after 31 years with this disease, I am living with scleroderma, not dying from it. And Many, many this footage that you just watched would have most likely been the only video my two children would have ever had together with me before I died. My doctor, who I talked to you about this morning, Dr. H, who is my colorectal surgeon, she canceled a vacation to stay with me. I, I can't even imagine the, the level of devotion. Maybe she was going to visit her in-laws and she didn't want to go. <laughs> uh, I got a standing ovation from the entire nursing staff when I was taken out of the university hospital. They literally lined up as I was wheeled off, you know, on the gurney and were cheering for me. They might have been being like, you know, get out of here already. <laughs> You've been here for six months.